In this video, we'll continue to talk about core values. And uh, I want to touch on how we enforce those, right? Uh, usually what we recommend to do is on our weekly team meetings within a department, uh, we uh, uh, have an agenda, uh, one of the core values, and we rotate them. Let's say we have five core values, and every week we touch on the uh, uh, core value itself. One of the teammates would read it, and then uh, would describe what it uh, means to him or her. And again, we rotate people, not the same people uh, read about the core value. And then we bring examples from the previous week uh, where the core values were enforced, uh, and we recognize uh, those employees that did it. We uh, uh, give them compliments, uh, thank them, and show gratitude that uh, core values were implemented. Or if any of the core values were broken, we actually push to have a culture where uh, employees would take constructive criticism and uh, hear the teammates out how uh, basically breaking a core value uh, created the fire or set somebody up in the company. So uh, again, if somebody continuously breaking the core values, uh, it's obviously uh, not the right uh, uh, match to have in the company. Uh, either this individual needs to uh, transition, uh, get uh, to the next level, or that person needs to go because, again, mission of the company would never be accomplished if uh, somebody is uh, constantly uh, breaking the core values. Think of core values as rules for the game, right? Like in basketball, there's certain rules. In boxing, there's different rules. In baseball, there's another rule, right? Within the company, we kind of said the same uh, idea that there are some rules to follow. You can't just introduce boxing into a baseball. I love this example because uh, for fans, it would be probably awesome and uh, I, would be, I would be very thrilled to see uh, a fight. But uh, uh, that's not the way to play the baseball game. That's not uh, no longer baseball, right? It's chaos. So uh, I'm not talking about somebody also getting hurt. So same thing within the company. Uh, if somebody is constantly breaking the rules, uh, it's, uh, again, I don't want to bring examples, uh, severe examples where, uh, maybe it should, uh, where media were involved and uh, the company went uh, downhill because uh, somebody decided to break one of the core values and uh, did something they were not supposed to without authorization of the management and business owner and so on. You, you get the idea. So, so yeah. Uh, make sure that uh, you recognize uh, when somebody follows and call people out uh, when the, they break it. And if they're continuously breaking it, uh, natural consequences is to let them go. Probably would be a good analogy that I like to give. Think of it as a, a, a you in the special forces and you on a mission. Uh, and mission could be deadly. One mistake uh, could cause teammates to die. Right. And uh, would you take that individual knowing that uh, he doesn't follow rules and break the rules and what's important to you, not really important to that individual? Uh, would you want to jeopardize the mission, jeopardize uh, your teammates uh, life because uh, somebody constantly breaking uh, the rules and you know that they break the rules? Because I see again and again in companies where they close their eyes and they tolerate. You don't have to tolerate this individual is not really for your company. Uh, that's why you hear probably uh, uh, in the recruitment world, uh, human resources world, they say uh, fire fast and uh, hire slow, right? We want to scrutinize a person to make sure they're aligned with our values before we would give them a chance. And once we gave them a chance, uh, we can't really tolerate uh, mistake after mistake and uh, person not growing.